Right, let's have a look at this question here. That's uh, from mechanics, A-level physics. Uh, the question here, in a castle overlooking a river, um, a cannon was once um, employed to fire an enemy ship, which is there here. Uh, one ship was hit by a cannonball at a horizontal distance of 150 meters. So that distance is 150 meters uh, from the cannon. Uh, the height of the cannon above the river was 67 meters, so that is 67 meters. Uh, and the cannonball was fired horizontally. So what we want to calculate first, um, show that the time taken for the cannonball to reach the water surface after being fired from the cannon was 3.7 seconds. Uh, if I make it a bit smaller. And then the second part of the question is there which says calculate the velocity at which the cannonball was fired. Uh, give your answer to an appropriate number of significant figures. So guys, that is a really important bit. We don't want to lose the marks on that. So make sure read the question properly and make sure what they're asking in the question. So um, just have a look how we're gonna approach um, this question. Go. So for part I, you'd have to use SUVAT uh, to calculate the vertical velocity. The only values we do know are of the displacement, which is 67 meters, uh, the initial velocity, which is zero, the acceleration, which is G, 9.81, and the time, which is the unknown variable. We use the equations s equals to ut plus a half at squared and uh, rearranging that you'd get 67 is equal to g over 2t squared uh, which when we solve as a quadratic would give you t as 3.7 seconds that's perfect so yeah so we're going to use the equation s equals ut plus half a t squared and a um, equals to g um, and because um, at the start there is no horizontal velocity so initial velocity u is going to be zero here uh, the displacement is going to be 67 uh, just rearrange the formula to make t as a subject and you will get the answer which is about 3.7 seconds so in the second question, it's asking us to find out the horizontal velocity. And there's only one equation that suits this, and that is horizontal velocity equals distance over time. Because we've already got the distance from the question, 150 meters, and the time that we've proven in the previous question, we simply divide 150 divided by 3.7 seconds to get the answer of 41 meters per second. Right, so that's perfect. So in the second question, we are they are asking us to find out the horizontal distance. So when it comes to finding the horizontal component or distance, um, horizontal velocity, um, as you said, there's only one equation when it comes to find the horizontal velocity, which is speed or uh, equals distance over time or velocity equals displacement over time. So um, just plug the values in, we know the distance, the horizontal distance is 150 meters here. We've just calculated the time from the previous question. Plug the values in the calculator and your answer is going to be 41 meters per second. In this question, it's asking us to work out the vertical component of velocity just before the cannonball hit the ship. To do this, we need to use the equation V equals u plus 80 and then simply uh, put in the figures that we have found out before so 0 plus 9.81 times it by 3.7 mm -hmm. to give us the answer of 36 meters per second Yes, simply uh, use the equation V equals U plus, uh, U plus AT, um, and then simply put the values in and you'll get the answer of 36 meters per second. 
the question four, we have to uh, plug in the values of the horizontal velocity, which is 41 meters per second, and the vertical velocity, which is 36 meters per second. Using the Pythagoras theorem, you can calculate uh, the result of velocity as 41 meters per second squared plus 36 meters per second squared, uh, all square rooted, which comes out to be 54 meters per second squared to two significant figures. For to find the direction, you always use tan theta, which is 36 all of 41, and uh, rearrange just to get theta, which is 42 degrees. That's perfect. So that's quite a straightforward question. Uh, so to find the magnitude um, or the resultant velocity, uh, we've got vertical component here as the horizontal component here. Use the Pythagoras, uh, plug the values in, get the answer. And for the direction, always use tan theta. Again, plug the values in and get the answer.